I'm getting ready to put y'all up on something, man. Yo, when you see something ill, you know what I mean? That shit is woke. Anything ill you see is woke. Got me fucked up in the head, I mean. Woke the bitch, diamonds and pearls, I mean. Should've seen them shit shining on the wrist, me. Now money ain't a problem, so my dough is like. Pull out my bank roll on y'all niggas like. Off the roof, shrimp from two tip like. Like it wanna be my blueprints, I'm like. Got to hit the bricks on y'all niggas like. Niggas getting moved on my block like oh. Coming home within a half an hour like oh. Run like they had the manpower like oh. More or less, shit nigga like oh. Half on this court, now nigga that's oh. Paulo Diaz was a central figure in skateboarding throughout the 90s At one point, he was considered to be one of the best street skaters in Los Angeles And skated for the best companies Plus I'm getting brain on this chick like oh. Finger near nigga asshole like oh. Team floor switches and bitches like oh. Nine nine jag men scoop like oh. Keep them cheap lines on your blocks like oh. Grenade through your window bitch like oh. Love to see me do this shit like oh. Niggas broken dope bitch like oh. Love to see me do this shit like oh. Niggas put me through this shit like oh. Paulo Diaz began his journey in skateboarding when he was just 12 years old, and by the age of 16 or 17, he was already a professional. He was welcomed by Paulo Peralta and appeared in videos alongside other great skateboarders like Rudy Johnson, Gabriel Rodriguez, and Guy Mariano. Additionally, he was a reference point in the late 80s and early 90s. Hailing from Guatemala, he was the first professional skateboarder from this country. Paolo's style is unique, with a variety of tricks ranging from the simplest to the most technical, achieving endless lines, trick after trick. Moreover, he possesses a very high pop, both regular and skating switch. 
Ten, they say he laced the Chiba. She do be looking weaker now. Her teeth are foul. Speaking loud, people stab in and out of every reef of cloud. Bad ass dissolving like cotton candy in her mouth that's starving. Rockin' same get daily like a soldier in my squadron. I hope she let Jake investigate from a window. Cause she's an info. Suck a dick and coughing up info. So now it's set up. Her and the beast to get wet up. I know he's vest up. We blaze it from the neck up. Don't let me knock first. Soon as he opened it, your clock burst. They had the chains on, so I hit the lock first. We busted in the cop jerk. Jungle pop one in the shirt. I grabbed the bitch by a titch. She tried to say she earth. We saw the cameras, tape recorders, and the monitors. They eyeing us. Nas, yo, he survived. One from the four five. Pull the shades down. He seen his last day. Paolo was sponsored by recognized brands such as Powell, Adidas, Etnies, Chocolate, Stereo, Billabong, among others. After his video part in Los New Vidas de Paco, Paolo disappeared from the skateboarding scene and focused on other artistic interests such as music and painting. According to his words, skateboarding was becoming more like other sports and was no longer seen as much as a lifestyle and a form of expression. The pressures and saturation that came with the popularization of skateboarding led Paolo to explore other artistic activities. continues to skate and maintain the style that characterizes him. He has found a balance between his passions, skateboarding, music, and painting. 